Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So this is the second part of the fourth lecture of the course Statistics and Probability Theory. We will continue with the topic Meyer of Central Tendency. In previous lecture, we have discussed how to find the mean median and mod for the ungrouped data in this lecture we will discuss how to find the arithmetic mean median and mod for the group data so this is uh, as you can see that this that arithmetic mean for grouped data and uh, you are familiar with this uh, data as this is the frequency distribution this is the classes this is the, these are the class boundaries these are the class marks and frequency uh, of 60 weights of 60 apples collected and we have discussed this uh, data in previous two lectures as well we have constructed the uh, frequency distribution of this uh, this uh, particular data and then we have constructed the histogram as well now i am going to use this frequency distribution which we have constructed in lecture two to find out the mean uh, which is arithmetic mean median and mod so as you know that to find out the arithmetic mean for ungrouped data what we have to do simply sum whole data which is summation x and divided by total number of observations which is n. So this is the way to calculate the arithmetic mean for ungrouped data. Now as you have the group data in this frequency distribution, so to calculate the arithmetic mean, we have to use x bar is equal to summation. This summation is basically for the sum f into x divided by n. As you are in group data, so in group data, n is equal to summation f so in group data n is equal to summation f so you can write it as summation f into x whole divided by summation f as x bar is equal to mean f is equal to frequency of each class x is equal to mid interval value of class or you can say the uh, class mark or midpoint of the class n is equal to total frequency as it is written here n is equal to summation f so you know that summation f is equal to 60 as we have already counted in previous lecture you have to find the f into x so this is the column for f and this is the column for x so f into x so what will you do 9 into 74.5 this is 670.5 and 10 into 94.5 this is 945 17 into 11 14.5 which is 1946.5 so in this way you can construct this whole column by multiplying f into x but you want summation f into x so what you have to do you have to sum this whole column so when you sum over this column you will get 7350 so summation f of x will be equal to 7350 so by substituting this in this formula which is equal to 7350 divided by 60 
So this will be equal to 7350 divided by 60. This will be equal to 122.5. So this is the way to calculate the arithmetic mean of the group data which is 122.5. The next is median for the group data as we have discussed in the previous part that uh, there are two ways to calculate the median in the ungrouped data. If the number of observations are odd then the middle value of the arrayed data or arranged data is called the median and if you have the number of observations even then the arithmetic mean of the middle two values of the arranged data is the median but in the case of the group data you have to use this formula only to find out the median this is equal to l plus h by f n by 2 minus c what is this c c is basically the cumulative frequency this is the column for the cumulative frequency. So in cumulative frequency, the first value is 9. This is taken from here, from the frequency column. What you will do in cumulative frequency? Cumulative frequency is the particularly the total frequency to this some particular uh, level or particular class. It means that next one will be 9 plus 10, which will be 19. So the cumulative frequency till the class 85 to 104 is 19. Next will be 19 plus 17. It will be equal to 36, which means that cumulative frequency till the class 105 to 124 will be 36. So this is the way to calculate the uh, column for the cumulative frequency and as the total frequency is 60 so the cumulative frequency till the last class is 60. So what you have to do to find out the median for the group data at very first point you have to find out the uh, median class how to find out the median class to find out the median class you have to calculate n divided by 2. As you are calculating uh, median, that's why it is divided by 2 as median is the value which divides the data set into two equal parts. And we know that n is the total frequency. So this is summation f divided by 2 and uh, summation f is 60 60 divided by 2 so this will be equal to 30 so n by 2 is 30 now what will you do you have to find out the median class so how to find out the median class you have to go to through the cumulative frequency and as the value for n by 2 is 30 you have to find out that in which class the uh, value 30 lie the very first cumulative frequency is 9 30 it is not covering the value 30 next one is 19 it is not it is also not covering the value 30 this one is 36. So 30 lie between these numbers as it is covering here. So we will mark this class in this way. So this one is median class. So 
you have find out the median class for this particular frequency distribution now what you have to do you have to substitute the values in this formula what is l l is the lower class boundary of median class if you go to the data these are the class boundaries and this one is the median class so this 104.5 is the lower class boundary is of the median class so what will i do i will substitute this value here 104.5 plus h what what is h h is the class width of median class so this is the median class and as you know that the class width for a uh, whole frequency distribution is same 85 minus 65 is 20 difference between 124 and 105 is also 20 so our class width is 20 next one is frequency frequency of median class this is particularly frequency of the class which you have marked this is the frequency of the median class which is 17 as you know that n is equal to summation f which is 60 divided by 2 minus c what is c cumulative frequency of class previous to median class so frequency this cumulative frequency distribution of the class previous to median class so this is the median class and this is the column for the cumulative frequency so this is the uh, class uh, cumulative frequency of the class of the median class and this one is the previous one which is 19 so we will substitute 19 here So by calculating it, we find out that the median is 117.44. So this is the median of the grouped data which we have taken. So now we will calculate the mod for the group data. As you know that the mod is the most frequent value and uh, in ungrouped data you can find out the that the most repeated value is the mod there could be more than one mod in the uh, ungrouped data and it is obvious that there could be no mod in the data in the group data this is the formula to calculate the mod so what you have to do for at the first step at the first step you have to find out the model class like you have fi already find out the median class the median class is you divide the n divided by 2 as this is the median and median is something which divides the data set into two equal parts that's why we have divided n by 2 and we highlighted the median class now in the case of uh, mod as mod is the most repeated value so model class will be the class which have the highest frequency so if you go through the uh, column of the frequency this is the class which have the highest frequency and uh, this is a coincidence that this class is same as we have marked for the median class but this is only the case for this particular data set it is um, it can possible that for some other data set median and model class would be different so again this is the model class
I am highlighting the model class. I am repeating that this, this is not necessary that median and model class uh, are same in every data set. It, they could be different and this is the model class as this class has the highest frequency. Uh, if the class has the highest frequency, it means that it contains the larger values larger number of values so this is the model class now l l is the lower class boundary of the model class so if you go back to the data 104.5 is the lower class boundary of the model class so this would be equal to 104 point five plus fm fm is the frequency of the model class if you go back to the data so this is the column for the frequency and the frequency of the model class is 17 So I will substitute 17 here in place of FM minus F1. F1 is the frequency of previous to the model class. This is the model class and frequency previous to the model class. This is F1 and frequency next to the model class is F2. So F1 is 10 and F2 is also 10 in this particular case. So I will substitute this value here. This is 10 divided by 17 minus 10. Plus 17 minus 10 as we know that f1 and f2 both are 10 into h as h is the class width of the model class and you know that this uh, frequency distribution has the width 20 as we have discussed in previous part also so this is 20 so now we will simplify this So by simplifying this, we get this answer 114.5. So this is the mod for the data. So this is the mod, this is the median and this is arithmetic mean.